Hi everyone, it's Timmy with Ivy Corrine Bath and Body. Um, we're back finally. Took a long hiatus over Christmas. And um, we're going to make a banana. It's a banana bread fragrance, but it smells more like a banana taffy to me. So we'll see what it smells like once it has um, the once it's cured, but and then we'll pick a name that. But it is a banana scent. Just mixing in our kaolin clay. I find doing that first uh, helps to eliminate clumps before you had to lie. Now, um, our lye water, we have uh, bamboo silk in it. And you can see maybe uh, the little clumps in there. So it doesn't dissolve um, as nice as tussa silk. Did I say that right? I don't know. Um, but it doesn't dissolve as nice as like silkworm silk. So um, we always have to strain it. And that's fine. Uh, but the benefits of it are tremendous. I really love the, what it does to the soap. It just leaves your skin feeling so silky. So what we're adding in here is the half the water and um, with the bamboo in it. And then we're going to be adding the rest of our liquid in as um, rice milk. And see there's our little bit of bamboo silk left over. And because it was so thick, because of it only being half water, and it's half water with a water discount, so <laughs> it's even less water than normal. Um, you gotta scoop it out. There we go. pretty quickly because of the fact that we have um, not all our liquid in. So I'm going to go ahead and let, add that in now. Plus it's quite cold. I think uh, this was around 75 degrees, the oil in the line, so it's kind of cool. I've been soaping at 90 degrees, but because it's a milk soap and I want to ensure... Oh, my spatula go. I need it back. Thank you. Um, my husband likes to clean as I'm doing this. He snatches my stuff. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So normally I do at uh, 95 um, or whereabouts there so that it stays cool or it stays warm enough so that my oils don't solidify. But with the milk ones, we um, go cooler because go too hot you'll scorch the milk and that's the whole reason I didn't mix it with the lye in the first place because I didn't want to deal with it scorching so now, I'm not sure how much nutrients from the milk and all the goodies from there are left in your uh, so in in the lye solution once you put lye into it because it gets so hot it may kill everything anyway I'm not really sure so this just works better so we have here just emulsified. We haven't even come to trace yet because it kind of relaxed a little bit because it's when it's so cold. What? No. And uh, I apologies because all our kids are home and running around so there might be some little noises in the background but if you've watched any of our videos you know that's pretty common. <laughs> Alright. So that looks good to me. Now this is pretty simple. Uh, the only thing we're doing is two colors. I'm going to do a base of yellow and then the top is going to be white. And you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to add in these two. This is um, oatmeal that we're going to be adding in. And I thought about adding ground rice because it was a rice um, milk soap. But I don't know. I just, I think if it was supposed to be banana nut bread, I think oatmeal just goes better with that. So, decided to add the oatmeal. And 
I'm going to have to blend that in too because I didn't put any liquid in there. And it blends really easily. This is um, baby oatmeal. You get from just the baby section, like the baby cereal. It's the oatmeal one. And that's the rice that we use in here too. And then it's just a super, super gentle exfoliant. I actually use um, the baby oatmeal in my baby carrot soap. It's a... Uh, so it's like my favorite soap. It's unscented and it's for babies, so that's really gentle. But we use the ground oatmeal in there, and it does have exfoliating powers, but it's just really gentle. do our fragrance too. Though I don't know what this is going to do, but my design is pretty simple and it's going to stay, um, it, there's not much to it and I need it to get a little thicker so even if it thickens it up a little it won't destroy anything. And the reason I'm mixing the fragrance oil is I added a vanilla stabilizer to it um, because I don't know if this has vanilla in it. The company I bought it from didn't list it, but I don't want to take the chance that it has like it smells like there's vanilla in it to me, so I don't want to take the chance and then it, the whole soap turns completely brown. Because I want to see how my new micas are going to work in this soap. I bought, uh, I finally got an order into the conservatory for some new micas. I'm so excited. This is the first one I'm using. But, oh, that got hot all of a sudden. <laughs> All right, well, since it's so hot, it's going to move fast on me. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off what I need here. This is just white, so we're just going to pull it out just to stick it on top. And then the rest of it will be the yellow. I'm going to grab a spatula and keep that kind of moving because it is very warm. So I don't want it to go too crazy. Want some titanium dioxide for this? Mm. Yeah, you know what? If you want to get some, it's over there in the color bucket. It's in that pouch. Thank you. Nice to have a smart thinker over there. I don't remember how to mix it though. Water. I just use one of those little plastic cups over there. Yeah, see, when you haven't made soap for a long time, you come back, you're all confused, you don't know what's going on. But the, the fragrance oil is uh, turning it kind of a yellow color anyway, so we're going to try and whiten that up a bit. And then we're just going to add the rest of this mica in here. Because if it doesn't go very white, I'd at least like it to be two different shades of yellow. And this is um, the, oh, what's it called? Magic Yellow Mica. I got a couple other yellows that I want to try out. I didn't have any reviews, so I don't know. And a few of them didn't say if they were stable or not in cold process, so I'll have to test them out and see. But I thought it was worth a try. How's this doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, actually, it's not really moving all that fast. It's okay. So, this is our, let me move this so I can get you in the frame here. There we go. Here's our yellow. And I was trying for more of a three-quarter to half ratio here, but I think I ended up doing half and half. That's okay, too. I just didn't want it not to have enough to actually cover the whole top of the soap. 
Yeah, it smells really good, though. You like that? I can't smell anything. How can you not smell that? Because I live in a house of a thousand fragrances. <laughs> okay, that's true. I smelled it when I came home, though, from the yeah. grocery store. Yeah, it smelled good when I walked in the house. That's right, ladies. He's handy, and he goes to the grocery store. And he's all mine. <laughs> We got all of that out of there. Sorry, I was probably totally blocking everything just now. Ooh, I totally missed a big bit of it. So I'll just put the pot in your way just for a few more seconds. It's fine. You don't care. Man, someone is lighting up my Facebook in there. Do you hear that? It's like every 30 seconds. Beep, beep. I don't have that many friends. I don't know <laughs> who keeps tagging me and stuff. Must be people with special requests and orders. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So, go ahead and level this out. And I'm just going to clean up the edge here. Here we got a little dribble. I don't plane my soap, so whatever is on the side of them is what is on the side of them. Okay. Good. And then we're going to stick blend in. I'm going to move this for a second because it's got to thicken up a bit anyway before I can add the white. Do you know about how much you put in here? Uh, what was that? A heaping teaspoon. A heaping teaspoon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just don't want it to crack. Because if you put too much titanium dioxide and it gets too hot, which this soap is hot, um, it will crack. Like it'll get a crackly effect where you get glycerin rivers. So I try to avoid that. But the room this is going in is quite cool right now because the weather's so cold out. So I'll still gel it, but I'm just going to keep an eye on it and hope that it doesn't go too far. It's totally not even at all. Yeah, that's better. That's probably not even at all still. Okay. Just a little more. Okay, we'll try that. Seriously. Somebody must be in need of something. <laughs> Sorry, you probably can't even hear the little bloop. It's just going off like every 15 seconds. Good job, babe. Give me just enough. There's no giggling in the soap kitchen. No giggling at all. <laughs> My six-year-old's in here. She's making faces. No, you can't make faces on the camera. faces. Alright. I don't want to take it beyond that. You know what? Can you hand me that uh, temperature gauge? I just want to see how warm this is right now. That's not bad. It's at 110. That's not bad at all. Hopefully, between the vanilla stabilizer and the titanium dioxide, we'll have this a bit whiter. It looks different colors, right? Like two different colors? Mm -hmm. But they're both yellow. I think that's okay. It's a banana soap. I've never worked with a banana before. That's not funny. <laughs> I've never worked with a banana fragrance oil before. <laughs> I've never worked with a banana. <laughs> See where this is at. Well, that's set up nice. Okay. So, don't worry, the spot I touch, that'll be my piece. Can I have a spoon, please? Yeah. Thank you. Alright, so 
So I'm just going to spoon this on so as to try not to break through too much. But they're both pretty thick, so I shouldn't be too big of a deal. Hey Chatterbox, what are you doing? Does it smell good? Yeah. I have some really ripe bananas over there. Maybe we'll make some banana bread tonight. You want to do that? That's pretty soap. That's pretty soap? And you did not see me laughing. I didn't see you laughing? <laughs> no. That was just a giggle. Oh, why did I say that? <laughs> and that's a pretty soap. Well, thank you. And it smells good. Well, thank you, honey. Believe it or not, that's my quiet child who doesn't talk much, so... Yeah, if we ever got one of my other kids in here, I wouldn't get to talk. Maybe we'll do that one day. We'll have her come in and just narrate. And now Mom is putting the soap in the mold. And now Mom... <laughs> and she came in to stare at me. <laughs> that's not cool. Okay. I'm going to tap this down. Can you go check on her? It sounds like she smacked her head on something. We have a small home. <laughs> Two bedrooms with four kids in it. But they're all girls, thankfully, so they could all share a bedroom. And we just always say, you know, we're a very close family. And four girls. And four girls. Actually, uh, actually five. Actually five? Because oh, do I get to count? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so we'll just yes. scrape the rest of this in there. And you can see it's not going to be a completely, like, smooth soap because of all the... Let me bring this up there. Maybe you can see it. You can probably see it from far away, too. But it's got all the texture of the oatmeal in there. Did that focus? Yeah, it did. So... Um, it's kind of grainy, but it does, it feels so good. If you've never made soap with baby cereal in it, I highly recommend it. Because it just adds so much, it is like the most gentle exfoliation. But it, it, it's scrubby, I, I can't explain it. It feels so good, even my one year old, I used the carrot soap on her, and it's got the, the oatmeal like this in there, and she loves it. She just sits there and she'll let me just rub the bar on her back for a long time. <laughs> she must be like me, likes her back scratched. <laughs> okay, so we have this. I'm going to tap it down a little so I'll be right back and I want to shake the crud out of the table. Excuse me. going to leave it kind of simple, but being that the colors are so close together, I'm going to texture just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Okay, let me get you back in the camera here. We're just going to... Like I said, small house, lots of people. <laughs> I don't really want it too tall though because it gets really difficult to wrap them. And when I wrap soap, I don't always have a ton of time to mess around with them, so I like square square bars. <laughs> or rectangles, I guess they are. Okay, honey, you gotta get off the table. Thank you, sweetie. So. I am really craving some banana bread right now. I think this will turn out into more of a banana bread smell instead of banana taffy. Yeah. It does it smell like banana bread to you or banana candy? Banana candy. Banana candy. It's like, like laffy taffy. Like laffy taffy. 
that's what it smelled like to me when I poured it out of the jar. Up to my nose in the jar, it just smelled like um, like banana bread. And then when I poured it, it smelled like candy. Yeah. Now it smells like bread to me again. So I'm going to tap this down again because as much as it's textured, I just want to flatten it out a little. So back again. There we go. So that right there, no no sprinkles, no glitter, no nothing. Just a very simple banana bread soap. And that's my first soap of 2014. I'm very excited. I'm glad to be back. So I hope you all had a great new year and a great Christmas and whatever other holiday you might have celebrated. And uh, did you just get in the camera? <laughs> And uh, we'll be back later to cut this one. And uh, there will actually be quite a few soap videos coming soon because I've got a lot of new fragrances I'm testing uh, for this for our upcoming season of fragrance. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. And thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want to see the next video too. And don't forget to click like. We like likes. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.